Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Here in Delphi, Greece, at the Temple of Apollo, standing behind me, dating back to the 4th century BC. Apollo, well, he was known for being the god of music, harmony, and light. And as I came in, as I come into all these ancient and sacred sites, or anywhere for that matter, I always set the intention, aligning with the video, to stream at every single space, country, destination. And what I felt here was moving past the illusion of fear. Two worlds, as I always say, the world of fear and the world of love. And everything that's associated with the world of fear and everything that's associated with the world of love. Love where things happen. Moving, flowing, peace, happiness, harmony, prosperity, success. Higher vibrational relationships, jobs, careers, spaces, places, living, thriving. And then the space of fear, lower vibrational energies, third dimension, such as lower vibrational relationships. Um, scarcity, not moving forward on your truth, your light, your words, your passions, okay, and everything. When you're in alignment, when you're in the higher vibration, when, in, when you're in the space of love, things are flowing. And oftentimes we'll get out of alignment, it happens. But every time you get out of alignment and moving into those spaces of fear, it could come in throughout the day. You have high vibrations throughout the day and you have lower vibrations throughout the day. But when those fears come through, whatever they may be, you don't have enough, you don't feel enough. Every time that fear, that illusion comes through, your vibration, your thoughts, your energies, you see it coming in, you feel it, you hear it. Just notice, recognize that that's an illusion. If theories say that fear is the illusion, acknowledge it as the illusion, and then move forward into the opposite of that, of the illusion that you keep on creating with your thoughts and your past experiences. Just because it was your past doesn't mean it has to be your present, your future. And the only way you could change that vibration, change your life, is by beating to a new song in your head, in your mind, in your heart, in your body, in your life. Beating to it. Saying it over and over, feeling it, owning it, knowing it. Every time the illusion of fear comes through, it will. It does. It's not to say I'm exempt of fearful thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Of course not. But when they come through, dissolve it, transmute it, acknowledge it, and move into the positive vibration. Do I want that? Do I want to feel that? Do I want to own that? Do I want to live that? Just because it was past doesn't mean it has to be my present. Once again, like a broken record, yes, that I am. Here at the temple of Apollo, fear is the illusion. Acknowledge that's the illusion. Once you had acknowledged that that's the illusion, you know, like the devil and the angel sitting on the shoulder, once you acknowledge it, you see it, you feel it, you own it, you just keep on moving over to the other page, the new life, the new energy, the new world, the energy and the life of love. Signing out here at the Temple of Apollo, 4th century BC, in Delphi, Greece. The energy here is beyond peaceful, high vibrational, very strong, but yet very peaceful and grounded. I love it here. It feels amazing. And in comparison, I would say this energy here feels very much of that of Lord's France, another high vibrational spiritual center. And here in Delphi, it was known as the Naval Center of the world. Signing out that Sherry Methling, Ancient Healings Around the World. Peace.